All right, excellent. I am going to, I want to show you what I'm doing here with uh, Project to Nova 10. Uh, this is a uh, personal project with a couple of personal friends of mine. They own a an orthopedic veterinary orthopedic sur uh, surgery clinic in Los Angeles. Um, and they have commissioned me to create topical authority uh, content that that generates topical authority for them. That creates topical authority around canine osteoarthritis because we are pushing synovitin OA. Basically, this is like an injection that like, it's a, an outpatient, outpatient treatment, a one treatment thing that you inject into your dog's joint, like their knee, and it halts the progression of arthritis. It relieves the pain of arthritis and it relieves all the symptoms of arthritis up for up to one year. Um, one injection, I think they're um, listed at $2,500 and two injections is $4,500. Um, so it's not necessarily, it's not cheap, but to the clinic, it's, it's a huge profit margin. But I mean, in Los Angeles, you find someone with a dog who's in pain, they're going to spend that money to, to completely halt that pain. I mean, like they have the videos down here, um, this 11 year old lab, I don't know, but like, like, we'll tell, uh, but the thing after watch. You're telling me people won't pay for that, especially that one simple injection. Oh my crap, I'll make this video in. So, oh, that video is too, too cute. Okay. So if you go to Synovitin OA, they are just going to push you to one of their approved clinics or uh, someone like SVS, uh, Simon Veterinary Surgical. These are my friend. And um, Synovitin OA is working closely with SVS to also push it. So they're like, they're putting a lot of their resources into it as well. And I am publishing this uh, content. But today I wanted to show the zap that I'm using. So I'm using something called ByWord oops, for um, article generation. And once it generates the article, it gets put into ClickUp and that's where I handle everything. So once it generates an article, it comes over here and it puts the entire article in the description box here. This is just the article. It's like untouched at this point. It creates my tasks so I know what I've got to do for each piece. And then for every piece, I have their image, I have their um, scores, uh, how well their that content scores against stuff that's already published, um, the meta description, stuff that I'll use, the word count, um, and the internal ID of that document once like a fully filled out one that's like published and indexed right now is going to look like this i still don't do anything in the description because it goes to a, a google doc like i show you here this was the very first one so i don't have medium or youtube yet i will then uh generate a youtube video from that article to then em embed on that post and also help promote it um so each post each article is like its own asset so it should have its own video too it just kind of deck it out as much as possible um i can see here that my score was a 67 out of 100 but the competitor score was 28.8 so it it got indexed fairly quickly i don't know where it ranks yet i haven't checked too much into the rankings anyway back to what i was showing you and the zap so once they come in here 
they have the tag of not started. So what I do is uh, click it, switch it to optimizing. I wish I would have done this video yesterday because this is when I did it. This is empty. So I mark, I click it to go to optimizing, the optimizing stage. And that's this zap here. The task changes, so it's just basically saying watch for any task in that Project Synovitin space or in that list and see if any of them switched to optimizing. So from there, then it creates the document based on document name is the uh, ID or the, sorry, the internal ID and then the task name, which is the title of the document. And then I just put the entire um, content in uh, within the document, the entire description, all of that that entire article. Oh, it shows it. Oh, see, neat. Um, and then it goes in there, it finds that very task, and then it, um, it creates, let me show you here. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to. It finds that task again, that same one I clicked, and then it updates it with the share link. So like normally this is empty, it puts that in there. So all I have to do is go in and click it and there's my um, document. Like, so for example, this one, I have to go through and um, edit all these headers because I messed something up in my um, zap, I think. Um, so it didn't carry the headings over, which is fine. It needs human intervention anyway. So like after the article is generated. So that is the zap that I have set up. I don't know if I can actually, I mean, it's not going to do any good if I share it. Um, it's very simple. If you want to pause the video on this, you can see it. Just like to generate a document based off of one simple, simple um, trigger, which is changing the stage, what I have here in ClickUp. So it's very helpful for me. Um, I need it to get to Google Docs but I need to do it in such a way that I, that forces human intervention. So that's why I have it set up this way. I'm sure there are easier ways, but we're learning as we go. Talk to you soon.